So here's another great example of using a chart to represent data. In this case, what it's asking us to do is create a 2D line chart on this worksheet that shows the revenues for only books and coffee for all months. Now again, we want to be careful not to include the total because if we include the total, we're actually including each month once when we represent the month and another in the total. So I hate to do this, but I think there's a lot of value in showing you what happens if we do this incorrectly. So what I've done is I've selected the first element of data, which is my headings and the item. I'm going to hit and hold the control key and come down and select the other. So if you notice, I have the total. I'll go into insert and I'll grab a 2D line chart. So again, this would be incorrect. Here's the chart right there. The reason it's incorrect is if you notice, I have this huge spike at the end, this thing called total, because I've represented the data once for each month and then again in the total. So let's hit the undo key up here twice and get rid of it. Now, I still have the data selected. I'm gonna go ahead and select it again. So I left click while I hold and I'm going to select just the months and the item. I'll hit the control key while I then select coffee for the six months. Now I'll come back up to the insert tab. I will choose 2D line chart and this time I will get a chart that accurately represents the data only one time on the chart. So this would be bookstore revenue by month. Notice it actually says by year. I'll change that while I'm here as well. By month. So now we have a great chart. I think I'll leave the title right where it is. I'll move the chart over here. And we're done.